Hola! Bienvenidos a otra lección. Today we're going to continue with reflexive verbs. We introduced them the other day, or in the last lesson, and now in this lesson we're going to continue on with it a little bit more, do a little practice. Once again, as a reminder, a reflexive verb is different than the normal verbs that we've been doing. The reflexive verbs are actions that, we, that one does to oneself. To bathe oneself, to shower oneself, to dress oneself. Those are reflexive verbs. They've got the regular verb, duchar, and then they've got a reflexive pronoun at the end, se, which translates to something like oneself. So to shower oneself, duchar se. So uh, without rambling on too much, let's get right to the lesson where we're going to practice some of these verbs, and let's get right to this. Okay, here we go. We've got the reflexive conjugations of ducharse. It's a reflexive verb. Like I said, here we see ducharse. There's our verb duchar and our reflexive pronoun se at the end. Now to conjugate that, let's first go to the yo form. If you want to say I shower myself, that reflexive pronoun changes to me. So yo me ducho. Ducho because it's well regular yo form. Me because of myself. Tu te duchas. You shower yourself. That's in the two form. Now we've got el e usted se. Now the conjugation there would be ducha. Él se ducha, ella se ducha. Let's go over to nosotros. We shower ourselves. Nos duchamos. Now be aware, nos doesn't replace the nosotros. It just uh, actually run off the screen here. Let me uh, fix that here for you. The nos doesn't replace the nosotros. It's just saying ourselves. I remember when I was learning Spanish, I thought nos was a abbreviation for nosotros. Anyway, it took me a while before I figured that out. If you're interested vosotros, os ducháis, ellos es ustedes, se duchan. Me te se, nos os se. Those are the pronouns. Other part of the conjugation is just normal, just like anything, just like our regular verb conjugations. Let's go down here. Let's try a few. If you want to tell somebody, let's just focus on the reflexive pronouns. If you want to tell somebody, you take a shower, in other words, you shower yourself, we've got tú, duchas, regular, but yourself, we put in te, tú, te, duchas. Okay, now Maria washes her hair. Maria lava, Maria se lava el pelo. Y'all wake up, ustedes despiertan, ustedes se despiertan. Now again, me, te, se, nos, os, if you're into the whole Spain Spanish, se. Those are our reflexive pronouns that we're adding here. Nosotros would be nos. Nosotros nos cepillamos los dientes. Okay, let's get down here. Um, we get ready or we prepare ourselves. Well, we can add the we can add the nosotros if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and include it to avoid confusion. Nosotros nos. And then it's regular nosotros conjugation. Prepara, running out of room, mamos. Nosotros nos preparamos. Let's look at the next one. They paint their nails. Ellos pintarse, so se pintan. They paint themselves, conjugated, se pintan las uñas. Okay, she dresses herself. Our verb is vestirse. Vestirse, so she is going to be ella. Now, how do we conjugate vestirse? The pronoun would be se. She dresses, viste. Ella se viste. I take a bath, bañarse, I bathe myself. Well, it's yo, because it's I. So let's start off with yo, but now bañarse, me. What's the verb? Baño. Yo me baño. I bathe myself. He wakes up at six. Well, the verb is despertarse. It's a stem changer. Okay. You remember despertarse. That's our verb. We've got the E is going to change to an IE. So if it's he wakes up, well, he is el. Se despierta. Despierta. 
Da. Now at six, remember, son las would mean it is six, a las would be at six. Él se despierta a las seis. Y'all, and we're going to do uh, Latin America, ustedes wake up, same verb, ustedes, what's our pronoun? Se, the verb, des, pi, er, tan. Okay, those are, that's a quick little run through of some examples with these. I've got more for you, of course, in, in your packets and the stuff we'll work on in class. Now, before we wrap up today, there's something I gotta make clear. When um, the placement of that pronoun, you see when it's infinitive, it gets connected there at the end. Bañarse, bañarse, it's connected, all one. But when we're conjugating these, we're putting it out in front. So, ellos se despiertan, and there's a space. But we might also say things like, voy a ducharme. Okay, so here's the key point for this lesson. One thing I want you to walk away from this lesson from besides some practice is that reflexive pronoun will either go before the conjugated verb or connected to the infinitive. I'll say that again. That reflexive pronoun will either go before the conjugated verb or connected to the infinitive. So let me give you an example. I could say, yo voy a bañarme. Remember, we're not going to conjugate bañar because we won't say, I am going to, I take a bath. We're going to say, I am going to take a bath. Voy a bañar, so I can put the me connected to the infinitive. Yo voy a bañarme. Or I could take that me and I could put it in front of the conjugated. Yo me voy a bañar. Yo voy a bañarme. Yo me voy a bañar. Before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. Okay. Say it with me. Fill in the blanks. That pronoun either goes before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. Well, senor, which one is better? Which one should I use? Well, I'll just tell you. On a test, one might be worth six points, and the other one might be worth a half dozen. Yo voy a bañarme. Yo me voy a bañar. Yo voy a despertarme a las seis. Yo me voy a despertar a las seis. Um, él tiene que lavarse la cara. Él se tiene que lavar la cara. Before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Oh yeah, remember, before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. That's it for this lesson. Oh yeah, remember, before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. That's where the reflexive pronoun goes. Um, that's it for this lesson. Oh yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to say it again. This time I'm going to say, my students, I want you to write three sentences describing what you do to get ready in the morning. Make sure you use a reflexive verb in each one. And that's it. Have a great day. Que lo pases bien. Ciao.